Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today's video is a very highly requested one and that is a very glam Zoom haul. So on my channel you guys have been requesting for ages for me to do a Zoom haul and a lot of you guys describe it as like wish but better and I am so over wish. I have done quite a few videos on wish and I'm just sick of spending money and just getting fabric. Not clothing items, just fabric. So when I heard that Zoom is basically wish but better, I knew I had to give it a go and review it for you guys. So I went on to Zoom and I ordered six different items that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys today. So these are all like summer clothing items because Australia is going into summer, my favorite season. But it recently got hot really quickly. Like it was cold one week, warm the next, and I don't really have any summer clothes so I ordered all of these in my very glam and extra style and I'm really hoping that they fit and look good because like I want to wear them we're going into summer I need these clothes so without further ado let's get on into it okay first of all I think we'll start with this pink one right here okay so the first thing that I got off Zoom was this tracksuit two-piece set so it is this pink long sleeve tracksuit top pad with this pink skirt and these are really well made. This is the set I was actually worried about the most because I thought it was the easiest to skimp on the fabric on. But surprisingly, this is really good material. Like it's not see-through at all. It isn't double lined, but it's not see-through. And it looks to be really good. They have elastic in here. Usually on Wish and stuff, they go really cheap on the elastic, but no, this is good elastic. And the set looks to be good quality. So this set was 31 Australian dollars. Everything in this video will be in Australian dollars. And I am really happy with it. I bought this because I just thought it would be such a cute little set that could also go with other clothing items. Like this skirt could easily be paired with another top. And it's just so cute and girly. So let's try it on to see how it fits. All right, this is what the set looks like on. It definitely needs a good iron after being packaged up for so long, but I think overall, it's pretty cute. I'm a little undecided on how I feel like it. I kind of wish this was cropped a little bit more so that it had a little bit of skin showing in between. I think that would look a lot cuter, so I might tailor it to do that. But overall, it's like good quality material. Definitely needs an iron. But on the skirt, I don't actually know if I'm wearing it the right way around because there are lots of like lines and so all down the skirt and there's no tag anywhere. So I'm just hoping for the best that I'm wearing this the right way. So this is what the back looks like as well. Definitely gives off like Barbie vibes, which I love. I freaking love feeling like Barbie. I think overall I like it. I'm a little bit undecided. But overall, like, it's a good quality item. It is exactly what it said it would be. And it was fairly cheap for, like, a two-piece set. If you bought something from this from, like, Pretty Little Thing or Misguided, it would definitely cost a lot more. So I'm pretty happy with it. I just don't know if it suits my personal style. Okay, next up is this item right here, which is a dress that I am very excited for because it is very extra. Okay, it doesn't look as good as I thought. Okay, no, it's okay. When it first came out, it kind of looked like cat's fur, but this is what the dress looks like. It is sequins up the top and then all fur down the bottom. I think because it's been packaged for so long, it kind of has all matted. So once you like go through it like that, I think it'll be okay. But this looks to be really cute. So this dress was 33 Aussie dollars, which for a dress like this with sequins at the top and then fur at the bottom is a really good deal. I've seen similar dresses to these on other websites and they're like $80 plus. So this seems to be really good. I'm also impressed with the quality again. It even has like a zip on the back here to undo. That is amazing. So let's try it on and see how it looks. So this is what the dress looks like on and I love it. I think it is so glamorous, extra and cute all in one. It is just very, very nice. It's really well made. I do get a little bit itchy right under here from the sequins, but that happens with any clothing <laughs> item that has sequins on it as I'm sure you guys know. But overall, this is such a cute dress that I really, really like. This is what the back looks like. Got a bit of an open back situation going on and I love it. 
I think it's so cute. For the price, I think this is amazing. I think that this could definitely be sold as a lot more. If you don't have a very extra style like me, you won't like this dress, obviously. But I really, really like it. Alright, next up is another two-piece, and it's this one here. This was actually the first to arrive, and I've seen other people on YouTube do Zoom hauls, and they say that their stuff takes forever. This all came in about three weeks, which is pretty standard for Australia. Things take minimum two weeks to get to you with just standard shipping. So these all arrived at pretty good speed. Alright, this set is this like PVC jacket right here paired with this PVC skirt. At least I think it's called PVC. Last time I bought something like this, everyone in the comments was annoyed because I called it the wrong thing. But you know what I mean. This like latex, but it's not latex material. And it looks to be pretty well made. It is, of course, cheap PVC, but it's the same material that you get from like Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, all those sort of websites. So this looks to be cute. This is a little bit different to something I would normally wear, but I kind of have been feeling a little more girly lately. So when I saw the pastel blue and it was in like a jacket and skirt set, I was like, you know what, let's buy it test it out, step outside my comfort zone and see what I think. So this set was 35 Australian dollars and it looks to be like really well made. I'm pretty impressed with Zoom so far. I did not expect to actually get like all decent items that I'm going to wear. So these, this is really nice. So let's try it on and see how it looks. Ta-da! So this is what the set looks like on. I'm not a fan of how long the skirt is. I think if it were just that little bit shorter, it makes the set look so, so much cuter. But I really like this jacket. I think it's so cute and different. Like, I really like the jacket. The skirt, I don't know. So I think I might actually, like, fix this to be about this length. Because then I have such, like, a cute and different set. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Seuss. I don't really know why. I can't explain it. But it does. And I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, the set is well made. It's a little bit cheap on the top here. There's, like, just stitching. I'll show you. Like, as you can see, it's just kind of stitching. So it looks a little bit weird like that. So when I'm fixing it, I may also fold it over. That way it has, like, a cleaner edge. So I'm definitely going to be making some modifications to it. But overall, like, the quality of it is pretty good and I really like it. So everything has been going really well so far, but I'm pretty sure that's going to end with this next item. So I bought this bag of Zoom. So let's open it up. I take that back. It went well on this after all. So I went on Zoom and I bought this bag. It's kind of like a Louis Vuitton lookalike, but it doesn't... I'm not into like the fake designer, so it doesn't have the LV or anything. It's just like, is that Louis Vuitton? Oh, no, it's definitely not, you know? <laughs> so I got this and I thought the reason I was saying like, oh, you know, it's going to end with the next one is because it's actually meant to be a three piece set. And from it being wrapped up, it looked like it was only the bag. But inside was this little coin purse and then this like flat purse. These are so cheap. So like badly made cheap. This is the coin purse. It's just got like, I guess card purse, not coin purse, but it has like the flaps for the card and it's just a bit of material that you really have to like push tight together to close it up. It looks good when it's closed up like that. That looks fine, but it's when you open it, you can really see like how cheap it is. Same with this uh, little wallet here. So it is like really, really thin thin material so you won't be able to fit much in there but I mean it doesn't look horrible I think it's just so thin that's why it looks so cheap like look you can barely even see it it's that thin but it does have a strap on it so I mean it could be good for like nights out because it has this and it's very lightweight and because it is cheap like if something happens it doesn't matter you know so I think I do like this and the bag the bag I really like it just needs to be like s stretched out into its right state and I'm gonna be using this a lot. You're going to see a lot of photos with these two, but not with the card purse because I just like it a lot. <laughs> Alright, next up is this one right here. This is a dress that's either going to be a hit or a miss. I'm not, from the packaging, I can't really tell, so let's just open it up and see. Oh, it's soft. Oh, oh, that's so soft. I mean, out of all of these, there was bound to be something that wasn't good, and I think it's this dress. So this is what the dress looks like. It is a white bodycon dress that is actually all fluffy. 
material as you can see so this is what it looks like in the photo the material looked to be a lot fluffier like when the model was wearing it you could see the fluff on the side but you, you can't really <laughs> on this dress I feel like when you have it on it won't be very obvious but it is see-through you can see my hand right through there. So this dress was only $12, but I feel like Misguided, Pretty Little Thing, all of those kind of sites have dresses similar for $12 that are better quality. So I, I just don't know. I'll see what it's like when it's on. I mean, you can see my top straight through it, so I don't have very high hopes, but let's try it on. And just as I expected, this dress is not good. It is so freaking see-through that I feel uncomfortable in it. It also is shedding everywhere, like if I go like this, can you see, can you see all of that coming out? A lot is falling off and it also doesn't look like the photos, like this, let's do a side by side. Their dress is a lot more like fluffier with fluff coming off the side. This is literally like the cheap Walmart knockoff version. So this I'm really disappointed in. It was only $12, but as I said earlier, for $12 nowadays, you can buy some nice dresses on websites like Misguided and all that. So this dress is really disappointing. Everything else in this haul so far has been really great. So to have this, it's quite upsetting. Like it was going so well, so well. And then we had this flop. So definitely don't recommend this one. Okay, and lucky last is this right here. This is a two-piece set that is constantly recommended to me on so many websites like Fashion Nova, all that jazz. So I was like, okay, universe, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. And my first impression without opening it is that I think it looks a bit like a dance costume and not like, you know, a nice piece of clothing. Okay, so this is the skirt. It is this like nude color covered in rhinestones as you can see and then it has this matching long sleeve top again nude covered in rhinestones i don't think i thought this through with my skin tone i think if this was in black it would look really great but i think this color just isn't gonna look good on me it's gonna look like a dance costume on me i think if you had like a darker skin it would look a lot better with your complexion but with mine I just know it's not gonna suit me. So this was 31 Australian dollars and I've just looked at the model and it does look a bit different to what was on the model. This is definitely like the Walmart version, you know? It's very, very cheap material. And the rhinestones, some are already falling off, like they're black, some of them, because they're half fallen off. So this I'm pretty disappointed in, but maybe it'll look okay when I try it on, but I don't think it will. So I guess let's try it on and see what we think. And as predicted, this doesn't suit me. It's actually also pretty see-through and I don't want to get demonetized, which is why I'm keeping my hands here. But it's just, it doesn't suit me color-wise, first of all. It definitely doesn't match my skin tone. But it's also like really cheaply made. It is so see-through, especially on the bottom. Like the bottom actually has a layer of lining underneath, yet it's still see-through. <laughs> like they've literally double-lined it, but it's been double-lined with such cheap material that it doesn't look good. Okay, I think I figured out this top. It has a little bit of like lining underneath to cover it up, but it like starts really low. So I have to pull it all the way up, leaving all of these creases here. So I just don't recommend it, but at least you guys can now see without me getting demonetized what it looks like. So this is it. Doesn't suit my skin tone, obviously. I don't even think if I fake tanned it would suit me. I think this color would only suit like if you have darker skin tones, because on lighter skin tones, it just kind of, it doesn't look good. It doesn't suit me. I, I It doesn't look good on me. <laughs> but overall, I just really dislike it. I feel uncomfortable in it because it's just poorly made. It's see-through. It doesn't suit me. Like, there's not, nothing really going for it here for me. So, yeah, I definitely don't recommend this one. And that was a very glam zoom haul. Ultimately, it looks like it's a bit of a hit or miss, you know? So, some of those items I cannot wait to wear, whilst others I'm like... Oh, so if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. And if you want to see more of my face or some of these outfits in action, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.